This video is for educational purposes only. We shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a V2Ray config on HTTP custom. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your browser, either in your PC or in your phone. After that, you're going to go to sshoshin.com. Link will be in the description of this video. Once you are in the SSH Ocean website, select services and you're going to go to where it says V2Ray. And we are going to either, either select V2Ray VMAS or V2Ray VLES. I will leave a link in the description for a blog which explains the difference between the two of them. For this video, I'm going to select V2Ray VLES. Now, scroll down and select any country of your choice over here just select any country i'm going to select the united states since it is faster since their savers are faster on my country so i'm just going to select the united states you can select any country you don't have to select the united states as well now i'm going to scroll down until we find something like this and these are our savers as you can see we have savers one up until saver number four and then here you have to take note of a few things first you must make sure that your saver is online make sure that your saver is online and make sure that they are remaining accounts for you to create an account as you can see this one is offline which means you must not create on the one which is offline you must only create on the one which is online so for example i'm going to select server number three you can select either server number one or server number four since they are all online but i'm going to select server number three now scroll down again and here you will have to put on a username and an sni as you can see it says sni optional so you can either put it or don't put it if you are if you don't want to use it for this video tutorial i'm going to put an sni so how do i get that sni to get an sni you have to go to this website i will also link a, a, i will also leave a link in the description for this website once you are in this website, scroll down until you find something say select a country. Just click here and select your country. For example, um, I'm going to select my country, which is South Africa. So let me go ahead and select South Africa. Once you, you've selected your country, just click on generate. <clears throat> here you can find the SNI for your country. Most of the SNIs here are working, so if you can't find the working SNI, just go ahead and click here to request the SNI or scroll down till the end. You'll find the link which will take you to our Telegram group where you can request your SNI. Once you find your SNI, just copy the SNI and go back to the SSH Ocean website. Over here, you are going to put on a username and then you're going to put on your SNI. For any for a username, I'm going to put the post TPS. You can put any username of your choice. For the SNI, I'm going to put SNI which I've copied from the website. So let's go ahead and paste the SNI over here. And then now select reserve. Sorry. Select reverse SNI as address and then select I'm not a robot. Create now. Now 
once you are done creating your account you will have something like this now we are going to ignore everything here just scroll down until you find this over here you are going to select the second one which uh, says copy config tls just select this one once you selected it it will copy the config once the config is copied go ahead and once the config is copied go to your mobile phone or your device which you want to configure the sni on which you want to configure the v2ray on and open the http custom link will be in the description for the app as well so don't worry about that one once the http once the HTTP custom app is opened, just go ahead and select here and select clear or reset config to reset everything to default. Once you've done that, select V2Ray and select this over here. Now select V2Ray settings and paste the copied config, the config which you have copied from the website, select here to paste it. Now it will display something like this. So go ahead and click back and then now just click connect. Click log to see your progress. As you can see, we are now connected. It says disconnect over here. And if you can see here, we are now connected. You can now use your V2Ray on HTTP custom. If this video is useful to you, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Also share it with your friends if you have a problem comment it below we'll be we might be able to assist you with your problem thank you for watching see you on another on another video and peace